there, my name is Sila Beckham, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And it is freaking freezing right now in Israel. Pouring down rain and just freezing. I'm huddling under blankets and uh, generally trying to stay warm. So last night, I, oh, I, was, I really didn't like it. I had to actually leave the house last night. I was like, had so many... Also, I had my big Doctor Who scarf and I put everything on. I just had to go, like, literally a three-minute walk down the road. And I was, like, dressed in, like, a space suit to avoid the cold. But when I came home, I, I made myself a nice cup of tea, snuggled under a blanket, and watched the next episode of The Witcher, which I am properly into now. Ah, but before I go on, like, share, subscribe. I think I already said, if you do enjoy the content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps me a lot. And if you like Doctor Who, I'm doing a DVD giveaway, doing, the, doing them for the next couple of months while the next season, this season of Doctor Who runs. This one, Dalek War, it's a two-story set starring John Pertwee from 1973, 1973, yeah, 1973, uh, with the Master and the Daleks, it's Frontier in Space and Planet of the Daleks. Two stonking great stories, a four DVD, uh, DVD box set, really. So all you have to do to win it is uh, subscribe to the channel, leave the comment with a hashtag uh, Dalek War. If you do it on Twitter, if you do it on Facebook, wherever, I'll find you. I'll do a, uh, uh, a search across all social media. I think only two people have done it so far. So, you know, you're in with a pretty good chance. Anyway, as I said, I was watching The Witcher and I'm properly into it now. I'm actually really enjoying it. My, my only problem is I keep wanting to be other things. Yeah, I'll talk about that in a minute. So this episode starts off with in a snowy, cold mining town. I'm like, really? Oh, I'm hiding under my blanket. Can't I have some warm coming in? Like, yeah. And at, at that point, I wanted it to be Conan, because Conan's always in warm places. So, oh. so I'm uh, and there's a monster in uh, the evil, uh, an evil monster afoot. He's just torn apart one of the uh, pauper miners' uh, sons. Um, tore them apart. Okay, yeah, just get killed them. Uh, and they and they've hired a uh, another witcher. Now that I found interesting. I you know I always assume witches are all going to have white hair, like 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 the Witcher. You know, <laughs> I and I'm finding a little bit more about them. It seems that they have a they have a mutation that helps that makes them be able to fight monsters. I have no idea what that mutation is, other than being like super cool, muscly guys. Well, being a super cool, muscly guy doesn't really help out this Witcher as he's killed pretty darn quick um, in a in 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 a, a meat locker, which I was kind of confused about because okay, they're in this like freezing cold area. He goes into this meat locker. There's all these carcasses hanging up, but it looks to be underneath they're being smoked. They look like there's heat coming up from underneath. So a little bit confused about that. Cut to the Witcher, and he's in a brothel. No, he's not in a brothel. He's with a lady of the night, and he's just, you know, just after receiving service. This, this has actually made me want to want it to be a Conan TV show more, because it kind of it just reminded me of those wonderful uh, Frank uh, Frazetta uh, book covers and illustrations of Conan uh, in, in, like, taverns or, like, with voluptuous women being voluptuous and him being muscly. It just kind of reminded me of that, and... Uh, Henry Cavill, again, I'm just loving him in this role. I think it's a role he's really... But generally speaking, I like I liked him in Superman. I liked him in, in uh, Mission Impossible, whatever it was. I generally quite uh, quite like him. I think I think he's doing a good job here. Uh, and I'm actually warm, warming up to the idea of him being James Bond. I think he'll be a pretty good Bond. My 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 uh, my, my wish for the next James Bond is uh, Tom H uh, Hiddleston, the guy who plays Loki in the in the Thor movies and, and the, uh, the Marvel movies. Anyway, I digress. So he's uh, he's in in a tavern and he needs to go and earn some money to pay pay for the uh, his uh, his prostitute's room for the night or something. I so he goes off to the the place uh, that city state where, where where they have the monsters. They hear there's the monsters there. Oh, he said yeah, good. she tells him that, that another wit which he came through here and he was um, uh, because there there were monsters to deal with there. So he goes there. He says you know look at tells the innkeeper look after my horse for a few days. I'll be back with payment then. So he goes there, and uh, he 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 starts. Uh, he goes there, and and the 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 miners, the, the poor villagers and miners, tell him are uh, are not pleased to see him, as they're never pleased to see him for some reason. Yeah, honestly, he turns up by me. I'll be fine with him. I I I would make make friends with him. He seems like he'll be a, a useful friend to have. So they they but they're pretty pissed off because the other Witcher took the money up front, took like a ton of money up front. And then ran uh, ran off with it without killing the monster. 
so this is the, the witch. So our witch says, you know, you, I, I, I'll, you can pay me after, after you kill it, after I kill the monster, and I'm only going to take a third. So uh, that sounds like a fair, uh, a fair deal, even though I think think they're they're, they're broke at this point. So then it kind of goes into um, some political machinations about what this monster is. Does the king want the monster killed or not? We're really not sure. And as uh, as the episode goes on, uh, the, the more of that transpires. But then we cut to Yennefer's story. Now Yennefer, a lot of time seems to have gone by for 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 Yennefer. I'm wondering, are are her, are her and the witches and the other one who is it, Cirilla? Are their stories happening at the same time, or are they happening um, not at the same time? Because it seems like a lot of time's gone by since the last episode for Yennefer. She's uh, yeah, so they open up. She's sleeping with Ishted. Ishted is it? Um, and they they seem to have a much more genuine relationship as well. He seems to to care for her, whereas in the last episode he was kind of using her to find things out. Which 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 come, comes up this episode. And the and the really weird thing is this: they have Yennefer conjures. Oh, she's got a lot more control over her magic powers now. I think Yennefer conjures. This whole audience of people watching her have sex and then applauding. You know, I, I'm telling you, as a personal side, that's what that's the that's like anti Viagra for me. That's like the last thing I would want. You know, uh, well, one of the last things I want in the world is for anybody to see me naked. I mean, and quite frankly, I think it's one of the last things you guys want as well. So, yeah, you're welcome for that. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a bit weird. And she's progressed. They're about to graduate as mages. You learn a lot more about the mage council. The wizard from that first episode, it was in a little bit in the second episode, was there. And the uh, yeah, so he found out from Ishted that she had that uh, Yennefer has some elfin blood. And so they try to send. They they changed the plan. They were going to send her to one place where she wanted to go to. I think the place that the witch is going to the, the witcher is now. I think that's what they're talking about. Yeah, you know, I have to tell you. I wasn't drinking while I was watching this. Oftentimes I do. Oftentimes I have a scotch at night when I when I when I watch TV. Uh, I wasn't, and I'm still not really clear on on a lot of things. And I'm like, I was stone cold sober. Uh, I was falling asleep a little bit. I was tired. Anyway, um, so back at the the Witcher storyline, we have uh, the it, it transpires that the monster is somehow connected to the king. The king's not a very good king. Uh, and uh, that, that's something else I'm really enjoying about it. The way the Witcher sleuths his way through things. He goes on intuition, and then he uses brute force to to uh, to uh, confirm or deny his his initial intuition, which I uh, I think kind of works. So it transpires that the uh, the king, the monster, is the daughter of the king's sister, who the Either he seduced the king, either seduced his sister or raped his sister, and then she was killed to cover it up with a curse. And I think that curse went into the baby that was there, that then like ate its way out through the womb, and is that that's what's attacking all the villagers now. Oh, we get get another little re- re- revelation that the initial wisher did, didn't steal the money and, and run away, but he was rather killed by the uh, the monster. So my thought, my my thought when I saw that is well. Why don't you just give the villagers back two thirds of money and give and give this witcher another third, uh, the other third, if he manages to kill the monster? So at the same time, we have uh, uh, Yennefer's plot where she she's about uh, she's about uh, about to graduate to go to the place that she wants, and I think she's going to get like a wish that she can be um, she can be made to be beautiful. I think I'm not sure, but there was some kind of like role. Courtier who who makes garments for uh, for for the these the these mages, uh, and, and uh, but then it turns but okay so she gets really pissed off that she's being that somebody that uh, she was that her elfish blood gets uh, revealed and she gets sent, being sent somewhere she doesn't want to so she goes to this courtier and uh, has her perform who I thought it was going to do magic on it no he does like this wild surgery on her. To make her so we at least we get out of like you know the uh, the Star Trek the cage like mm, makeup and she's and we got super hot Yennefer now which are like okay yes I'm on board for this and she uses uh, she uses her her feminine wiles 
to to get the position that she wanted to, I think. Okay, over over on the the witch's storyline, the he's uh, he he battles the the, the monster and he man I think oh my gosh I can't remember now he manages not to kill it but I think she the the monster ends up being re rehabilitated by the person who was hiring him. Uh, okay, and then at the very end we see I think is it Cirilla the 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 blonde princess from wherever wherever it was still on the run. So again I don't know if she's on the um uh I don't know if she she she's on the same uh uh timeline as as Yennefer and the Witcher. I really don't know. But you know what? I'm really on I'm on board for finding out. This is a fun series. Uh it's it, I, I I think I just go watch it more to get used to it more. I'm still wanting it to be a Conan series. It's pretty good. I think um I think I preferred Autumn Carbon to it. Uh, just because I kind of like sci-fi more. Well, no, I think Autumn Carbon was a really, really good series. Although that was a good example of a show that should have been eight, eight episodes. I think it was ten episodes. And like this one is really working well for these eight, eight episodes. The episodes are pretty uh, episodic and self-contained. That's why it's not bingeable. At, I, I don't find it bingeable. You know, I, I think it's like an episode a day is the best I can get. And tonight, I really want to watch Lost in Space. I want to, well, I want to try and like move forward to that as well. But The Witcher, you know, I, I, there's a, uh, I have a viewer who, who wanted me to watch it, and I can't remember his name because it's not a real name. It's like I be, oh god, what was it? Anyway, whoever you are, you know who you are. Thank you, thank you for asking me, me to, uh, to review it because I think I'm, I'm happy that I've seen it. My name is Sheila Beckin, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, subscribe. Please subscribe and ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And have yourself a fantastic day.